How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? About to get in the fuzz. What's going on, people? Go, go. Well, I want to talk to you about something. I know a lot of people probably ain't going to listen to this, but I figured I'd give it a chance anyway. As far as the medical minute, as far as MRSA SAF infection. Now, I want to share this with you and stuff, and I know a lot of people will not care what I'm saying as far as the gay community, as far as my gay men or, um, you know, within the LGBT. So I, I was looking on the research and stuff, and it was about someone that had passed away and stuff. And I found his name and stuff. I'm not going to put his name in this video and stuff. But it's called, um, uh, it's a gay man who had passed away. And he had died and stuff. And I thought it was very important to get this information out as far as this website I'm getting it from. I'm not a fan of them either, but... I felt as though the message was very positive because I see people on Tumblr as far as gay men having sex and stuff and they're not using condoms and stuff. And you go to us, go look at Raven over on Tumblr and you can go right in my thing and see all of them up there. Now they're having sex with men. I, I don't know the ages and stuff, but the thing about it is that they have this thing where they come inside of a guy and stuff and he pushes it back out. Now, they're like, they got this thing. I don't know what it is that they get from that. Some type of thrill-seeking thing. And at the end of the day, I'm thinking to myself, you know, you're doing this and stuff. But do you realize that this person can have HIV or AIDS and stuff? Y'all getting caught up in the moment. And that's why I was like, you know what? Mm, should I even do this video? Because I, I really don't think people care. But anyway, let me give it a shot. Um... I'm right doing this to educate my um, people about MRSA search in the gay community. All of us in the gay community know of at least one person who has squints in them. MRSA infection, like pneumonia, was in the 80s and the 90s. Resistance. <clears throat> It's becoming a rat. It's becoming a um, a number one killer of people with HIV. Now, last year, um, someone had caught the bug and stuff, according to his website and stuff, and they're saying that it is basically affecting people that's in the um, black gay community. Now, I'm sure it's just gay, but of course, it's a black woman's site, so I guess she's still as though, you know, um, gay people, black men. Anyway, um, those who have a high risk, <clears throat> excuse me, of MRSA infections are babies whose immune systems are, aren't fully developed, and the elderly and those who are weak in immune systems, such as HIV and AIDS patients. With the advance of antiviral medication over the 15 years, HIV AIDS is no longer considered a early deadly disease sentence that is once was, but unfortunately due to the increase of MRSA cases, the tide is turning into a black community. For black people living with HIV today, MRSA staff will soon be the number one killer. The reason you don't hear much about this MRSA staff is in the news is because it mainly it's mainly killing young black gay males who continue to engage in high risk sexual behavior without protection. Poverty, neglect, and denies are the reason why black communities account for the highest cases of HIV and AIDS infection today. The mere suggestion that black gays wrap it up brings an anxious in existence. Resistance. Um, basically saying black men don't like to really put condoms on. Well, a lot of men don't like to put them on, but anyway. So MRSA causes soft tissue infection, but it can also spread to the lungs, leading to pneumonia or to the bones and the heart varies. Most MRSA skin infections are harmless and resolve within days. The infection generally starts out as a small red bump or tiny blisters, boils, boils, 
on spider bites on the legs and arm. In the mid-1980s, MRSA was a hospital-based bacteria. The bug was able to spread from patient to patient because nurses and doctors did not wash their hands between patients. Over the last 20 years, MRSA has leaped from the hospital setting into the surroundings of the community. Most of us now colonize MRSA staff is not a threat to most healthy people. Bacteria lives in a bacteria the bacteria lives on our skin, but mainly in the nostril passages in the throat. The nostril, you know, passages in your throat. Step become um step become a problem when it enters the blood screen through breaks in skin such as cuts or scratches. Once in the bloodstream, it is very difficult to treat because MRSA staff is resistant to any antibiotics. Did you hear that? It's resistant to any antibiotics. And patients with HIV it quickly spreads from the original site of infection to lungs where it causes pneumonia or to the internal organs. Symptoms, signs and symptoms of MRSA include swelling, redness, and tenderness of the skin around the wound, foul-smelling pus, pus, or drainage from wound, fever, shortness of breath, cough, chills. This has been a medical minute. Now, I just thought it was very good as far as letting, you know, to realize that there was something more even bigger that's transferring fast as far as killing people with, um, you know, infections and stuff that once once you it gets to this point as far as MRSA, it's non-treatable. So the antibiotics can help you. Now I'm doing this video and I'm, I'm hoping to encourage someone. I'm very discouraged because I know really... <sighs> I don't think people care and it breaks my heart, but I can't do no more than what I try to do. So my goal to you, people, is wrap it up. You, just cause you go to see somebody lacking that cute and stuff and you think they're so sexy, y'all both are not doctors. And when I say you both not doctors, y'all say, you good? You good? Are oh, you good? Yeah, we good. So we both ain't got nothing. That's not how you get tested. Me, myself, of course, you know, I got tested. I'm negative. But the thing about it is I went to the doctor and I had blood tests. And the thing about it is that, you know, just because I came out negative does not mean I can't get it from the next person I mess with. So it's not that I'm a simp, but I wanna, I'm aware of when I lay down with this person. This person may not be telling me the truth about their health history. So so I went to go look up and see if they had something up to date. By the definition of MRSA resistant to some antibiotics, but other kinds of antibiotics still works. If you have a severe infection or MRSA in bloodstream, you will receive interesting antibiotics. Unfortunately, there is emerging antibiotic resistance being seen with some of these medical conditions as far as March the 20th, 2017. So, you know, <clears throat> I just want to put this out here and stuff, you know, to let you know that if you are having sex, I want you to use protection. Don't do the cream puff where someone can ejaculate inside of you. You push it out because there's some type of thing that you get. You watch if someone push to come out of their body because at the end of the day, they can be putting something inside of your body that you can't get rid of. So the whole purpose of this video is to let you know to still practice safe sex. Even though we got these new things out there, but I always say, be safe. Some people say, well, I'm just going to use the prep pill. The prep pill is it. I would say use protection. I wouldn't trust anything. And another thing, when a man comes, once he come, don't let him push that come back inside of you. Don't let him push his penis back inside of your body once he come. You know, 
And I'm saying that there's no protection and stuff. Because basically you're supposed to have protection. And when someone is having sex with you, make sure that condom is on. Because a lot of times men are known for taking it off when they have sex with you to make it so wet. And they'll pull it off. So it makes you be safe. Just because the person you're looking at with loving eyes may not really love you. And it would have been said, I want to share this with you. I love your feedback on this. And I want you to be safe. And I want to show I love you. And I want you to use protection. And I want you to thank you for watching. Kiss the Love you.